How's it going? How you doing? This is Just Driver Snow back to do the second part of the $12 Fun Days Mystery Boxes from Undiscovered Ground. They're $12 each, you get one Funko Pop. You either get something where you maybe get your money back or or get over over what you paid, or you don't. So kind of a grail or fail thing. Although that does always fit because I mean if you get a pop that where you're you're, you're getting say fifteen that's worth fifteen dollars, you, you're getting more than you paid, but it's not necessarily a grail. So I don't think they actually call these grail or fail. Um, but that's it kind of fits in that game because you're either gonna you're either gonna get your money back or or overvalue or you're gonna lose a few bucks. And then supposed to have ten thousand dollars worth of like bigger um, stuff in these boxes so bigger value Funko box and autograph Funko box so first five if you saw the last video if you didn't here's what you need to do if you're not a subscriber subscribe okay? and then after you watch this video go back and watch the last video so you can see the pie pops I got in the first box um, obviously after the video, after the video, you don't have to do it now. After the video, if you enjoyed it, if you got any little bit of entertainment out of it at all, please just hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it. Also, check out all the links down below, Undiscovered Realm. The Old Treasure Isle is my own business that I, I run part-time through Macquarie, Poshmark, and whatnot. Um, the goal was somewhere down the road to maybe actually have like an actual retail location. That'll probably be maybe like once my house is paid off. So at least it'll be at least five years. But that's the goal. At the very least, I don't want to, you know, make a good, you know, good sales and good money on Macari, Poshmark, whatnot. And then maybe get my transient vendor's license so I can go around Ohio and hit maybe comic cons and other like festivals and stuff like that and set up so wish me luck on all that but yeah follow me on everything why not all right let's dive into these I, I i got lucky like the first the first five pops there was one i was debating on keeping but it was the second one i opened i thought well if i don't get another one in the other three that i really want then I'll hold on to this one for a while. But the next one I opened after that was one that I really wanted. So I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that one. Keeping. Not keeping. Keeping. Keeping that one. And the other four are going in as inventory in my business. And again, either through Macari or Whatnot Auction, they will eventually be sold. Here we go. What do you got? Well, My Little Pony. I've never gotten this one before. I hope, I've gotten the Butterscotch one a couple times. We have Cotton Candy. Again, we will scan these on the Funko app as we go along. Again, I paid $12 per. I'm going to cooperate. And cotton candy is only coming at $7. Amazes me how heavy these ones are. They're like, they just, they feel heavier than your standard pop. But, yeah. Seven bucks. So that'll be like, if I list it on Macari, that'll be like five bucks. Or what I might do is maybe, since I got butterscotch, maybe I'd bundle like butterscotch and cotton candy together, the two of them. figure out you know that's why we have phone cases right all right number two Let's hope for an autograph I'd love to get an autograph pop that'd be great 
Number two is from Garbage Pail Kids. We this is a creepy looking one. Hey, they're sorta. Of. We have Allie Gator from Garbage Pail Kids. I remember Garbage Pail Kids. Those were kind of brought out as kind of a kind of a uh, an answer to the uh, Cabbage Patch, right? Alright, let's see how much Alligator is coming in at. And Alligator is 12 bucks. So I broke even on that one. Yeah, I won't be keeping it though. And there's always possibility in these other five pops. There might not be any that I want to keep. But that's okay. Just makes uh, more inventory, I and mean, of course, that's one thing I need to work at now that it's starting to get colder out is updating my inventory. Next, we have a McDonald's one. We have Mayor McCheese. I think McDonald's has got to be the only restaurant that ever developed like a whole cast of characters. Like, you know, a lot of, a lot, especially fast food restaurants, a lot of them, although not so much anymore, but you know, in the past, a lot of them had kind of a character or a, a spokesperson. You know, Burger King had the King. Um, Taco Bell had the, uh, the Chihuahua there for a while. Wendy's, I always had Wendy's. But yeah, McDonald's always had, you know, besides Ronald McDonald, they had you know, this whole cast of characters. And Mayor of Cheese is coming in at 14 bucks. So, $2 over what I paid there. Nothing breathtaking or to jump up and down about, but hey, anything over what you paid is good, right? I mean, if you're, if you're running a business. And obviously the flip side of that is anything that you lose money on is not always a good thing. Next. We have got, all right, looks like we might have found the one that I'll keep out of these five. We have from Star Wars, we have Hunter. Is that on one of the animated? So this must be out of a, what, is it Bad Batch? Is that what that's out of? Because it's got Wrecker, Crosshair, Tech, Hunter, Echo. I said Wrecker and Crosshair. There's, oh, it says Bad Batch right there, Nimrod, if you just look. It sucks getting old. Let me tell you, it does. Some days you just like. And this, whoa, this one coming at seventeen dollars. So. Figure the one, the one that's got the most value so far is the one I want to keep. But that's how it works, and that's why I buy these. Not just as a as a business for resale purposes and inventory, but also because I am a collector. You're not wrong being a collector. Everybody should collect something. No matter what it is. Don't let anybody ever, ever get, get on you or or make you feel like you shouldn't be. And the last one we got is one that I actually just recently got. Sitting here close by. Nah. I think I got it boxed up in there somewhere. Pretty sure it's the same exact one though, but we have Johnny Rico from Starship Troopers. 
I don't think this is coming in at, I want to say like seven bucks or something like that. That was all. 16. So 16, that was 17. So that's 30, 33, right? Thirty-three, and what was uh, what was Mayor McCheese again? Fourteen. Thirty-three. That's forty-seven. Alligator is twelve, so that's fifty-nine. So yeah, I actually got over over value over what I paid for these five. Cotton candy was seven. So yeah, I got six dollars, basically six dollars over the sixty that I paid. Not bad. But again, follow me on whatnot and follow me on Macari and Poshmark too. Why not? Uh, check out my uh, my business page on Facebook for the Old Treasure Isle. And, of course, subscribe here. But that way, if you're interested in Johnny Rico, Cotton Candy, My Little Pony, maybe you got a daughter, younger, like that. Alligator, maybe you got, uh, maybe you got a son. And I'm not, not stereotyping or anything like that. Hey, there's nothing wrong, as you know. Maybe your daughter is more interested in garbage pail kids. Maybe your son's interested in My Little Ponies. Nothing wrong with that. Or Mayor McCheese. And who doesn't like cheeseburger? Everybody likes cheeseburger. You don't like cheeseburgers, so there's something wrong with it. Now I know, you might be a vegetarian, but hey, even vegetarians, you get a cheeseburger. You get one of those uh, Impossible Burgers, right? I know that because you know, I, I, I do maintenance stuff for Burger King restaurants and that's what we got, the impossible. I myself haven't tried it, but we sell a crap ton of them, so we don't sell as many as we used to. I'll admit that. But what I am keeping out of this is the Hunter from Star Wars. So out of the 10 boxes from last video and this video, the two pops that I am keeping from my own collection are from two of my favorite absolute favorite like franchises Star Wars and Marvel so I call that a win I mean when you figure out I lost a few dollars on the first five boxes I made a few dollars about six bucks on the last five boxes I basically kind of broke even as far as what I paid you know I kept I'm keeping two for myself, so we don't put those in the equation. Uh, I just take out what I paid for those and just consider, you know, I got my value back because I'm keeping them. And then the other ones, I can still break even and roughly if, if I can um, sell them, you know, close to what their trending value is. So. That's it. That's all I got. So, I don't think I have anything ordered right now. I mean, I should have some things coming. Uh, obviously, band box. My, my, my next band box is, should be here shortly. Of course, Universal Yums, but it'll probably be a little while before that comes. Poor Pack, I subscribe to, which will probably be a little while for that, because I just got one not too long ago. Um, my Thrill Club. With the novels, I just got it not too long ago, and then I did subscribe to I gotta try to think of what it's called the head, something metal. Yeah, I don't remember, head metal box or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, um, I should be getting the first one of that here soon. So, 
If you're subscribed, you'll see all those videos as they come up. Um, and outside of that, hey, everybody, as always, look out for yourself and those around you. And it'll make it much easier for all of us to stay safe and healthy. Until the next video, which uh, like I, said, I don't know what it'll be. I'm guessing probably Bambox. Until then, everybody take it easy. See ya.